The Seal Weld Active 8 is the most durable and versatile sealant injection pump in the pipeline service market today. It's designed to deliver cleaners, lubricants, and sealants into the seat sealant systems on all kinds of valves. An air over hydraulic foot pump delivers product with high pressure oscillation, forcing lubricants and sealants into critical sealing areas. Hydraulic pressure pushes a floating piston up the sealant barrel, which allows product to travel out the hose assembly and into the valve. The barrel will take up to two minutes to empty depending on what type of product is being pumped. Once the piston reaches the top of the barrel, it's ready to be reloaded. The 10 pound pail needs to be braced by a guard during loading to prevent leakage. This will ensure that the loading plate o-ring seals tightly against the inside of the pail. Place the pail into the elevator plate and open the loading tube vent valve. Use the handle to pump the jack up which lifts the elevator plate and pail onto the loading plate. Once loading begins, there will be a large pocket of air trapped at the top of the pail. It is essential to purge this air for proper loading. Have a rag ready to catch any product that gets vented ahead of the air pocket. When product begins flowing ahead, shut the vent valve and start loading. Before loading the barrel, make sure the foot pump is in the release position. It will take approximately 8 full strokes to completely load the barrel from empty. Each stroke delivers approximately 2 ounces of product into the barrel as you load. This will help you regulate how much product you pump when servicing smaller diameter valves. As the barrel begins to fill, the loading tube gauge will show a pressure increase. If the pressure builds above 150 psi, stop loading and let the pressure drop. If the pressure gets too much higher, it can trigger the loading tube relief valve. Once you've loaded a full pound of product into the barrel, the loading tube pressure gauge will spike and hold. This will indicate that the barrel is full. If you have pressure trapped on the loading tube assembly, use the slotted handle to crack the jack release quickly open and close to drop the pressure. Now that the pump is loaded and ready to use, connect the air supply hose to the air filter lubricator assembly utilizing the quick coupler. Supply air should be between 75 and 125 psi at approximately 20 CFM flow rate. If you're changing products and don't want to cross-contaminate the valve, purge the hose assembly into the empty pail. Step on the foot pump and watch the product coming out of the coupler. Once the color and texture changes, the old product has been purged and you can release the foot pump. Use a crescent wrench to close off the coupler valve to avoid excess spillage. Move the activate over to the valve and connect the hose coupler to the injection fitting. Open the coupler valve and pull the hose tight to the center of the coupler over the fitting. Step on the foot pump to start injecting product into the valve fitting. Watch the injection gauge closely as you pump to ensure pressure doesn't spike. Never exceed the recommended injection pressure for the valve. If you're not sure what the maximum injection pressure is, contact a seal weld representative. Depending on the size of valve and type of service being done, you may need to reload the pump. At the halfway point of the product pail, you need to engage the elevator plate extension arm to load the last few pounds. Drop the jack completely and swing the arm under the pail and center over the jack. The Activate is user friendly and easy to maintain or repair. Check the user's manual for these steps, exploded views of the pump, and a complete parts list. If you have more questions, call a Seawald representative or visit our website at seawald.com.